Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design a sheet metal component which you can see on the right side here by using the drawings on the left. So we are on the sixth part of a tutorial and our work file is right here. So the next thing you need to do is create the holes. So for creating the holes, go to insert, cutting and go for the hole and specify the sheet metal surface where you need to create the hole and click on the position sketch to position the hole now use the constrain command and constrain the hole at the right position now this is 4 and this distance is 5 Now just come out of the sketch and specify the diameter of the hole is 3 up to next and OK. Now you could use the transformation command. Select the hole and go for transformation rectangular pattern and just select the reference surface and go for the second direction and make it 2 and come to the first direction and make it 1. Now reverse this direction now reverse this direction and specify the spacing which is given here that's 60. So just specify 60 and click on the preview and that's right there now click on OK and you got the other hole here repeat the same step in order to create holes on the surface too so I'll show that once again to you go for insert cutting and go for hole and specify the sheet metal surface we need to create the hole go for the position sketch and position the point by selecting the point and the edge and specifying this distance so this is 5 and this particular distance is 4 now just come out of the sketch and the diameter is 3 which has been already said before and uh, up to next and that's it now just select the last hole which you have created and go for transformation and rectangular pattern and just select this as the reference surface now go for reverse direction go for reverse okay the reverse has to be done here and uh, spacing make sure it's 60 which is right here and okay that creates the holes and the last part is to create a lower stamp which I'm gonna show you in the next tutorial so stay tuned and if you have any doubts you can comment below the video and thank you so much for watching